on first go you know the vibes hey guys welcome to my channel welcome back if you're a returning subscriber today is independence day in saint vincent and the grenadines happy 45th independence to the land of my birth my home country the country that i would always return to no matter how far i stray so today i will be taking you guys into town with me it's as i said independence day this year we're having our first nighttime parade first nighttime parade so i'm super excited to be attending this this is like one for the history books i get to tell my grandkids you know your granny was in her prime and she went to the 45th independence parade and it was so amazing da 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 da, da x y and z and guess what they'll be able to look at it that's crazy i love youtube for that because all these memories hopefully it's still here which i believe it would be um it would be probably more advanced but you know hopefully it's still here that it could look back on you know all the things that i did wow you know just living life and learning how to get through my 20s 30s and onward but yeah so this is me guys can you believe i got this week from shane and it's cute it it's giving y'all it looks so cute <laughs> oh my gosh i when i tell you camera does not do justice it does not but anyways i'm about to leave home it's like almost five o'clock after one my shoes right now i have my like house slippers but i will be walking into town hopefully they haven't started any like matching or anything like that let's go and enjoy independence um oh wait the lighting oh golden hour i can't really see myself because the sun is like but anyways tell me why tell me why oh lord tell me why i what was i gonna say oh tell me why my phone is only oh yes yeah, tell me why my phone is only at 60 something percent all i filmed was one video and like three tiktoks and that's it and took some photos and it's at 60 percent that's crazy but yeah i want to tell y'all a little bit history about my country yeah. so i'll be telling you guys facts about st vincent and the grenadines so st vincent and the grenadines gained independence in 1979 right following following that same year last of Frey erupted that was the last time it erupted before it erupted in 2021 april okay all right we have roughly around 101 000 people living in st vincent and the grenadines the first official name of st vincent and the grenadines was hyruna right it was called that by the indigenous people. So the Kalinagos, the Arawaks, etc. They called it Hiruna. St. Vincent and the Grenadines has the oldest botanical gardens in the Western Hemisphere. Our first Prime Minister was the Honorable Dr. Robert Mills. Did he carry that so? let me not say that <laughs> by the way these are facts that i know out of my head but yes so our first prime minister was robert milton Cato. our hospital is currently named milton Cato memorial hospital memorial giving it sounds like a funeral home to me anyways that's, and it's literally next to the graveyard weird right thank you so much thank you you too. We have some of the most interesting people. Exhibit A. But that was really sweet. 
um, <laughs> the current Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is the Honorable Dr. Ralph E. Gonsalves. I would say it's a fun fact, but I'm going to keep that to myself for now. <laughs> and he has been Prime Minister for the last 20 plus years. So I have known no other Prime Minister besides him. We are made up of 32 islands and keys stretching from a mainland St. Vincent straight down to Union Island, which is the closest island to Karakou, Grenada. So guys, that's all the facts that I have for you currently, but if I think of any more, I'll definitely let you guys know. Next time, we're gonna be in town showing you all the decorations that we put up. Thank you. Y'all, I'm hearing them. And I'm still a good old way from where they are. I think they're still at... Fun fact. Our dogs, our animals, don't have no manners. Like, in the middle of my videos, dog, dog, barking. In the middle of my videos, the fowls be cuckoo doo -doo -doo. But anyways, I'm hearing the band. Y'all, yeah, I haven't, I have not gone to Independence in a long time and not take part in it. Like every single Independence that I have gone to in my life, I have been a part of it. I was. Let me see if I could get photos. Like, let's see if we could get some photos. Bring it up. We'll find photos somewhere. But like. Every single independence that I've been to, I've been a part of it. <laughs> and that is awesome and cool, but I'm glad this year that I'm not taking part in it because I really, really want to experience being the person on the outside, and not the person who's standing up in the park for like literally hours um, during a speech. So I'm so happy that y'all, I think I see them marching. It's gonna be hard. I might. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time, y'all. But we're gonna try. I'm gonna put with this camera because I am gonna be sprinting. I will be running. Look at the vehicles, and there are vehicles behind of me as well as in the car park. Oh my god. I hate when vehicles get extremely close to me. But yeah. It is packed. I have never seen our parade look this big. I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's because it's night, but clearly Vince and Shen got vehicles. Clearly. So I have made it close to the park and it is looking crazy. When I tell you, I don't think I've ever seen our parade this big before. Hi. It's crazy. But. I think they're coming in, but I'm missing it. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed the march on of the armed guards to be followed by the unarmed guards. So making the way in is the Nurses Association, the Scouts, I believe, and following them should be the girl guys. Well, Rangers and then go guys.
go up any stands because I have a feeling like there's gonna be something that I would miss from below that you would see above there but I ain't, I ain't 100% so but I remember yeah when I match we I can't remember what year it was but we made the number of the year so I don't know if they're gonna do something like that this year but I think this is the most people I've ever seen match like in my entire like life of March if that makes sense from since I was in guide come straight up to being a guide like this is the most people I've ever seen I'm even seeing students now like just plain old students wow when I was you know not when I didn't exist but yeah and this is the first time they have like a big I don't know this is where you know they're announcing everything over there that's the first time I've ever seen that but that is always there where the governor general and the prime minister is gonna come up hopefully y'all can hear me but yeah and now it looks like they have just regular citizens marching. I'm not sure, I can't see properly. I don't know if they're just looking on from over there, but yeah. And uh, Assistant Superintendent of Police, Julia Nero, Subaltern, Inspector of Police, so also the Rodney, Rodney. Guard number two, an all females police guard. The guard commander, assistant superintendent of police, acting, Miss Marlon Coffey, subaltern, inspector of police, acting, Miss Bernadette Matthew. Guard number four. Guard number three, the special services unit, Guard Commander, Assistant Superintendent of Police, Post, Mr. Foster Scott, Mr. Balton, Inspector of Police, Acting, Mr. Ken Samuel. We are now witnessing the assembly. The officers commanding guards are on the passing line and they are responding to the beat of the jump board. This is in preparation for the falling in of the officers commanding guards. Number 
number five, the SVG Auxiliary Police Force, the Guard Commander, Lieutenant Ruben Johnson, drawn from two battalions, Guard Commander, Lieutenant Acting, Sovan Giral, Sebastian, Second Lieutenant Andrew Joseph. The Marine Unit, Guard Commander, Lieutenant Acting Laurel says, Subaltern, Second Lieutenant. I don't know and if it's me alone saying this, but I see color. his rights on the female police force. Like, they have rights on. That's interesting. The Guard Commander, Yeah, Julie like, Simmons. Yeah, some bucks to happen now. He's a Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the march on of the colors. March on the colors. Bands on parade. The Royal St. Vincent and Grenadines Police Force Band, the Royal Grenadine Police Force Band, and the Catholic Force Band. Give the parade commander a round of applause. Very well. Commissioner of Police Active, Mr. Enville Williams. Minister has arrived. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dr. the Honorable Ralph Gonzalez.
Yeah, that was our national anthem. I was trying to get another piece of it, but you know. We invite Her Excellency.
And we are also seeing the rifles being lit up. There you go. There you go. 45. Run up, run upstairs to see if I could see it better. And no, I cannot, but I think there would be some drone footage somewhere on the internet that I could include so y'all could get to see it. And I could get to see it too because this ain't shot people. Up Good night. Can I get a snow cone, please? Can I get a snow cone, please? Thank you. So. Snow cone is like one of our, I guess, local treats. I don't think it's, you know, native to us, but it's something that we have like on the afternoons after school. The Special Services Unit, Yard Commander. Assistant Superintendent of Police, Mr. Foster Scott, Subaltern, Inspector of Police Acting, Mr. Ken Samuels. Sir Frederick Ballantyne, on the 23rd July 2017, following a consecration ceremony which was presided over by the Bishop of the West. Guard number two, female, all female guard of the RSVG police force. Followed by the special services unit, SSU. Ladies and gentlemen, the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Coast Guard. Followed by the Color Party. Auxiliary Police Force. The St. Vincent and the Grenadines Mix Guard. In their typical scarlet parent. We are now witnessing the unarmed guards leading the procession would be the prison officers, ladies and gentlemen, His Majesty prisoners, followed by the nurses. Put your hands together for the nurses and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yeah, Rangers! A detachment from the Scouts Association.
as soon as possible so that y'all can get the video ASAP and then I have my St. Lucia vlog which I've already well the first one I've already edited it but haven't posted it so that would go up sometime during the week so y'all are gonna get two videos this week to you um but yeah what was I gonna see the parade it was really good after the parade, we went to the Vinci Expo. Um, I left the parade before the whole concert thing, so I didn't even see the fireworks. Which is cool. I've seen fireworks already for the year, so it's nothing, you know, for me. But I would have loved to capture it, but my battery was literally dying. It was dying. Um, at the end of the night, my battery was like about 11-12%. So, yeah. By the way, this is not how I come on social media. If this is your first time watching me. <laughs> but 
I'm literally so tired and I just want to relax in bed for a little while before getting myself together. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, once more, happy independence to all my Vincentians, those who are currently living in St. Vincent and those living abroad. Um, this was a really good experience. Like, I'm pretty sure they might put it back to the normal time next year. I don't know, but it might just be like one of those things when we have like a certain milestone or whatever but yeah thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video before i close out don't forget to like comment and subscribe because that is how you all keep getting these videos because your like your views your comments they really motivate me and push me to keep on creating content, which is something I already love doing. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.